better, better and better. This is a place only for you, which is very peaceful. And throw your arms out and back energetically. Creative relaxation is really a life skill and it's suitable for children, it's suitable for adults. Um, when we think about relaxation, normally we think about being sleepy or lying down or doing nothing. But in this technique, uh, it's actually a very specific state of being where we're physically relaxed but mentally alert. Creative relaxation seems to be the way of helping children develop this steady state, which I discovered earlier from my research was so important. It's a very practical response and it, it didn't seem very expensive. It was very easy to do. And so you could train the teachers and you could be sure that all the teachers were doing broadly the same sort of intervention. So I was very excited about creative relaxation. So there are three stages to the school's programme. In stage one, we train the teachers and the other staff in the technique for their own well-being. The thing I got most from the training was the quick physical relaxation. Um, we are very busy people and you don't often get time to sit down for five to ten, five minutes just to, to go through the full relaxation. But you know, if you're just about to go into a meeting or you just had a parent that you've had to speak to and you're going back into class, you can use it to kind of switch your stress levels down so you're personally back in the right place to teach again. And in stage two, we train the teachers in how to use the technique in the classroom with children. Yeah, I think creative relaxation is really exciting to be delivering to children, definitely. Um, you know, I can see the long-term goal and the bigger picture and I think if it filters up throughout, you know, from lower school right up to the top of the school, it would be something that goes with them throughout their life. So I think, it, yeah, I'm really excited about it. And in stage three, the teachers then train the children in the classroom. Your hands on your lap with your palms facing down. Bend your legs, knees and feet apart and feet flat on the floor. Notice your arms and legs and repeat to yourself. Soft arms and legs. Soft arms and legs. I've personally really enjoyed teaching this. Um, the conversations that I've had with the children about how your body works and how your mind works and how that really and ultimately if you can be responsible for your own mind then the world is your oyster. I picture myself getting on with the work and trying to get all the questions all right. And um, when I did that, um, it really helped me and I got um, quite a lot of marks. I have noticed that we have got some silly people in our class that go a bit hyper and when they've done it, they are physically relaxed. They're not calling out, they're not shouting around the class. They're just getting on with their work and it, it really helps sometimes. It helped me because when I'm stressed and people talk to me, I do creative relaxation and it helps me concentrate better. When you come out of it, it has physically relaxed you and it just feels so calm and it just really helps sometimes. I work with a variety of children and with children with issues ranging from low self-confidence to real extreme behaviour issues. I've used it with all the different children I work with um, with amazing effect. A child that we have is um, very hyperactive, runs around school all the time, makes noises constantly, doesn't sit still for a second, um, but was able to do this beautifully children can come into school and they, they carry a lot of baggage with them. They can come in when they've been upset at home. So creative relaxation was wonderful for those children to be able to take themselves to somewhere that nobody else knew about, that it was in their mind and they could just build up a magical picture of whatever they wanted it to be. The place that I go it is really special to me because it's made up and it's made up of all the things I like. Garden with loads of trees around the edge and, and the water's right in the middle. I have a waterfall and um, I, there's a big swimming pool that all the waterfall goes into and I like to swim in that all day. It's made up of a jelly, mount, jelly mountain, it's got jelly kingdoms. It's amazing because there's white sand, palm trees, uh, nice 
nice blue sky. It's really nice. The most important thing about creative relaxation is that we can learn that we are responsible for our own well-being. And creative relaxation gives us tools to find our inner resources to make our life easier. For children would be like being the captain of their own ship. The data at this stage is clearly showing that there are children that are gaining greatly from being part of the creative relaxation research. Real benefits for them. And the exciting thing for me is running workshops with the children and hearing from their mouth what actually is happening in their lives with it. Um, one child was saying that they use it when someone annoys them or when they get angry. Uh, other children are saying they're teaching their parents at home. So it's starting to spread. There's a clear relationship between well-being and performance. And many teachers have commented that they feel that children perform better after learning creative relaxation. In addition, children with stressful home situations can acquire through learning creative relaxation a sense of well-being which that can then support them at home and at school. As I said to the Cabinet Office, the one gift you could give a child is this emotional well-being. And what was interesting about the um, Creative Relaxation Programme is it did seem to give children the skills to prepare them right the way through life. And so hopefully they'd have this steady state which would be the gift I would give them.